In this video, we will draw the projections of plane when it is inclined to both the planes. For this, HP inclination and VP inclinations are given. We have to consider surface inclination as a first case. So, first case is surface inclination and the next case is other inclination. So now read the question. A pentagonal plane of 35 mm side is resting on HP on one of its edge and its surface is inclined at 35 degrees to HP. Draw its projections when the edge resting on HP is inclined 40 degrees to VP. Now in our question the surface inclination to HP. So the top view is pentagon and front view is line. Now draw the XY line and draw the pentagon at uh, below the XY line and give the notations A, B, C, D and E like this. And now And now project all points to upwards for drawing the front view. So the front view is line. Front view is line. So, A dash, B dash, E dash, C dash and D dash. So, we are using a donut or point. So, for mentioning the points. are the uh, inclined line so why because our question is inclined to HP so we have to draw 35 degrees we have to put 35 degrees to HP for this uh, straight line so uh, copy this uh, line and place like this so for this uh, uh, use copy command and uh, select the objects and select the base point and place like this and now and now use rotate command again select objects and base point and next angle so give the angle as 35 degrees and now project a b c d e points to right side and project a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash points to downwards
so both will coincide then you will get a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 so that means it is a, a compressed pentagon okay and now i use the line command and join all points so for this uh, one case is finished so Uh, other angle that means inclined to VP so edge angle is 45 degrees to VP is left so for this so from XY you need to draw 40 degrees to VP for edge so uh, copy the compressed pentagon and place like this then you need to rotate this compressed pentagon so then use rotate command so select the object that means you have to select all this compressed pentagon and next uh, select the base point like this so that means you have to select the side points a1 b1 either a1 or b1 points as a base point so now give the angle 40 degrees to vp so for this rotation angle, uh, that means uh, you have to give, you have to 90 minus 40 degrees you have to give. So that means 90 minus 40 equal to 50 degrees. So inclined to VP means it is a plus 50 degrees we need to give. So our rotation angle is plus 50 degrees. So after this, uh, please check the angle. Now. Uh, use the dimension commands and uh, check the angle so it is uh, exactly 40 degrees to VP so this is the process for giving the rotation angle and now project all points to the upwards and uh, project inclined line points to right side so then both will uh, coincide and uh, you will get the required diagram okay so required diagram means you have to mention the points and you have to join all points with the line command so this is the uh, required diagram so it is the uh, inclined to both hp and vp so in this uh, in these problems the line inclination is direct angle so if uh, the inclined to vp that means you have to give direct angle if it is uh, the line you need to draw inclined to vp means uh, 360 minus that uh, given angle if you want to rotate the line so you have to give the direct angle for hp if you want to rotate the line for vp you have to give 360 minus angle 
we have to rotate the compressor diagram for hp uh, with hp that means uh, minus of uh, 90 minus angle okay minus of 90 minus angle if you want to rotate uh, the compressor diagram for vp that means with vp downwards uh, so uh, 90 minus angle that means uh, plus of 90 minus angle so these are the uh, main points for the rotations of uh, uh, required diagram so follow this and uh, solve other planes like uh, circular plane or uh, hexagonal plane or uh, uh, square plane like this okay so i hope everyone understand this uh, projections of uh, planes inclined to both hp and vp concept okay thank you